Hey everyone, it's Jose Bueno, bringing you your first demo video. What we're gonna be doing is some flat surfacing. Uh, this would be the first project that we kinda do in class. We're gonna be using shielded metal arc welding and we're gonna be using an E718 electrode. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just get comfortable in whatever position you're gonna be welding, uh, sitting, standing, go ahead, grab your electrode holder, fit your electrode in there, and just kind of do some dry runs. Get used to the form that you're going to be using while you're welding just to see if it's comfortable enough for you to start your weld and then finish it in one go. Uh, so pretty much, uh, since it's flat, we're just going to come straight up and down with your electrode. All right, so really no work angle at all. But our travel angle, we're going to have a slight drag. All right, so that way, once we start our arc, all right, go from edge to edge and once you get to the other side you're going to want to hold it just a little bit fill in that crater and then go ahead cut your arc wait for it to cool down grab your chipping hammer chip that slag off and then we'll see what we've got all right so what we've got here is a miller synchro wave 351 it's pretty similar to a lot of the machines that you're going to see out there and then also in our shop uh, first thing if we kind of go down here all right, this is where our uh, work cables and uh, electro cables are hooked up to. You can see that they're all hardwired in. All right, so that's something that you typically won't have to mess with in the shop. It's already done for you. Next thing we're going to want to uh, check and make sure is on the right setting is our polarity. So we talked about this in one of the other previous videos. Uh, when we're using shielded metal arc welding, and especially with uh, E7018, we're going to be wanting to be on an electrode positive, all right, direct current electrode positive. Right now, you're on alternating current. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just kind of get in there, rotate that handle over, ensure you're on the right polarity, all right? Biggest thing you want to check on before you actually start trying to weld. Then we can start running through our, our other settings up here. You want to ensure that you're actually on SMAW, not another process. All right, the next one over, this uh, remote basically uh, is telling the machine you're going to be using a remote switch uh, to control the arc, which is typical of GTAW. All right, so we're going to want to make sure that we're actually flipped up to use the panel. And then the same thing here for output, make sure it's on instead of remote. And then something we'll get into later on is high frequency. Uh, that's used with GTAW, not with SMAW. So we're just going to switch it off. All right, once you've gone through all those settings, everything's good to go. Go ahead and power on. So here we've got two different readouts. The bottom one is for voltage. Top one is for amperage. Now we're not really going to be manually setting our voltage. Uh, the, the welding machine does that automatically as we uh, pull further away with our electrode or get closer into the weld pool. Uh, so we're only setting our amperage and we're doing that with this knob right here. All right, so you can see if I rotate it, it starts going down and we can start increasing our amperage. So typically with a uh, 1 8 inch diameter 7018, you want to be running it anywhere from about 110 to maybe like 150 max. Uh, but for today's demo, we're going to be doing about 140 amps. Thank you. 
so now you kind of saw uh, what the weld looks like from a, from a far away glance. What you're going to see here uh, momentarily is a close up of what the weld's going to look like under, uh, under the hood. it for surfacing. Uh, while you do see surfacing out in industry for stuff like hard facing, uh, it also provides us with a good opportunity to just learn the basics of striking an arc and being able to put down a good sound weld. Once you're able to do this, it's time to move on to horizontal.